Hey guys, it's Cam and Katie, and today Cameron has a special treat for all of us, including me. Today we are going to be learning about Irish proverbs, or otherwise known as shanuckle. That's the word for a proverb in Irish. Shanuckle. Shanuckle. The direct translation is like old saying, like old words. For those of you that are new here, I am American, and I am from Ireland. And if you're new to our channel, we're doing a little video series that we like to call Learn Irish. So being from Ireland, I actually went, and I've explained this in previous videos for those who've already seen it, I actually went to an all-Irish school. So I, my whole education system was in the Irish language, so I didn't speak English in school. Even when I learned French, I'd learned French through the Irish language. Maths, science, everything, history, everything we learned it in Irish. So it was quite common for me to be at home with my siblings. My siblings went to Irish schools as well. It'd be quite common for me to be speaking to my parents and turn to one of my siblings and say, what's that word in English again? Because we would genuinely like, we were so used to just speaking Irish all the time. So um, it's definitely a big part of my culture, a big part of who I am as a person. And so it's something that we want to kind of keep alive as part of our little Cam and Katie channel. For sure. Currently in Ireland, we are celebrating something called Shaktan Na Gwaelga. Try to say that ten times fast, dare you. Shaktan Na Gwaelga, Shaktan Na Gwaelga, Shaktan Na Gwaelga too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically Shaktan Na Gwaelga is a little kind of Irish holiday tradition that's recently started in the last few years. And the purpose is to celebrate the Irish language, to celebrate Gwaelga and to promote it and encourage people to learn it. So as part of Shakta Na Gwaelga this year, I thought it'd be a good idea for us to do a video about Shanukul. Irish proverbs are very smart. They sound really nice on the ear. You'll hear some of them today. And, uh, and they always have a really good message or a good piece of advice. Okay, so with that, we're gonna get into the first Shanukul. Okay, the first one is nice and simple. Neil Ain Tintan Mardahint Han Fain. Nice and simple. In what way? <laughs> Neil Ain. Neil Ain. Tintan. Tintan. Mardahint Han. Marda who da who? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say it fast. He's try acting like this should be easy. I'm gonna say it fast, try repeat, okay? Neil Ain Tintan Mardahint Han Fain. What does it mean? Just... <laughs> <laughs> this shanukul or proverb is the famous one in English. There's no place like home. Oh. Elaine Tinton by the Hinton name. Okay, shanukul number two. Okay. Isminik avrish bail dina ahron. I've been married to Caitlin almost four years now and I don't think I've ever seen her look at me like that. I just... <laughs> okay, I'll try once okay. and then you'll tell them. Isminik. Isminik. Avrish. Avrish. Beldina. Beldina. Ahron. 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 <laughs> okay, what does that mean? I, I'm done. Basically, this one means, like the direct translation is, it's often someone's mouth broke their nose. So meaning like, be careful what you say because it could get you into trouble. Okay. So like if someone was like talking bad about someone, the Irish shanukul to say would be, it's my nick of rich bailed in our home. Like, don't be talking bad about people, it could come to get you, you know? That makes sense. <laughs> okay, shanukul number three. I still don't have shanukul ready. <laughs> <laughs> Too small, Latin hybrid. Too small, not the high, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that legit sounded like German. Like, legit sounded like you're speaking German. Like, I honestly don't even well, know what you, you said. you legit sound like you're, you're speaking gibberish. I, I feel like this is a German, prank. not gibberish. What do you think of the German language? <laughs> Just kidding. No. Too small. Too small. La na high, bro. La na high, bro. <laughs> See, it just doesn't come naturally, you know? Okay, this one means a good start is half the work. So like, okay. if you're doing a job, like teachers would say that all the time. If like, so the, I, like I have vivid memories of a teacher being like, all right, time for your four page essay. And everyone would be like, oh, and they'd be like, too small, Latin high, bro. Like get going and you'll be halfway through. Uh. You know? 
Okay, shanakal number four. Ready? Yeah, sh- shanakal. Nienfok soul couple rasadasal. In one of our last videos like this, um, I almost said the F word because <laughs> of that. So I think I'll there's pass some, on yeah, this one. There's some similar uh, sounding words in Irish, but they don't mean that at all. So. What does it mean? So basically, this one's kind of a funny one. It basically means you couldn't make a racehorse out of a donkey. Like okay. Some people just aren't they, cut out for the certain either things. got it or you don't exactly, got it. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's that. All right, number five, last but not least. Ahnin Kirog Kirogela. It's so funny acne, because... Acne. Acne Kirog Gagger Derber. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you said. Anyway, it's actually hilarious because... Growing up in Ireland, most people learn to like how to pronounce Irish, how to at least like realize when someone else is speaking Irish. They might not fully understand it, but they'll be saying like, "Oh, he's speaking Irish." Yeah. It's so funny saying it to Katie because you legit have never heard. So it literally sounds like gibberish to you. Where like, if this was an Irish person who didn't really speak Irish, you would at least be Recognize. able to yeah repeat it back yeah. and stuff. Anyway, Anthony and Kiro Kiro Gala basically means it takes one to know one. Ooh, we've all said that before to somebody. Yeah, so like if like if someone was a tattletale or something in school, the teacher would be like, Anin Kiro Kiro Gala. The teacher said that while wow, you had some cheeky, we had cheeky teachers. Cheeky teachers. Some you know Irish you are, slang for you. If you're you. watching this, no, I'm Yeah, kidding. you know who you are. <laughs> um, so a Kiro is like the little tiny roly polies. You know those insects? Yeah. The tiny ones? That's a Kiro. I don't know what that is in English. Uh, there you go. I genuinely don't know what that is in English. Wait, and what does that have to do with this? It's like it's like an ant recognizes another ant. Like it takes one to know. One. It takes a roly poly to, to know a roly poly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was five shanokel, Oskwelde, five proverbs in Irish Ooh. to help you be able to communicate, maybe learn something funny to say, and that can be, maybe you can share it with a friend and that's like your little secret like joke that you guys have Or together. you just have an Instagram post. And you put it on your Instagram and post. And you want to sub Insta post someone, a subliminal message, so you say it takes one to know one. We have a challenge for you guys. Post this on your social media, whether you use it as a caption for your picture or you use it as a story or just a status on Facebook and post one of these uh, shanokal, one of these proverbs in Irish and have people guess what it means. See if anyone can get Ooh. it. We will write down all of these in the description below so you can just copy and paste. Yeah, perfect. And then have people guess. Okay, last but not least, because it's chopped in the Guelga, and because it is St. Patrick's Day really soon, in the spirit of promoting Irish and um, getting ready for St. Patrick's Day, I have a bonus shanokal. Okay. So five plus a bonus one. Are you ready? Is far gwelga brishte na berle klishte. Try that one. Is far. Is far. Gwelga brishte. Gwelga brishka. Brishte. Brishte. No. No. Berle klishta. Berle klishta. And what that means is a bit of broken Irish is better than some clever English. That's a little saying we have in the Irish community, you know. Now, as you can tell, the Irish who speak Irish are getting desperate to keep it alive because it is, I hate to put it this way, a dying language. So let's keep it alive yeah. in the spirit of this special day. Let's keep this language alive because it is a huge part of their culture. I mean, yeah. the English speakers can't even pronounce THs. They can't even say think. They say tink because it all started from the Irish language. So they don't have TH in, in Irish, so they can't pronounce it. So I feel yeah. sorry for him. That's but... why, for those of you who know us, I don't pronounce THs properly. It's because in Irish, there is no TH noise. So yeah. growing up, I never used that noise. 
Anyway, so yeah, so like Caitlin said, in the spirit of keeping Irish alive and uh, making this a more interesting thing, we invite you guys to share this video with some friends and family so that they can learn a little bit about some Irish proverbs as they prepare for St. Patrick's Day. It's pretty worldwide at this point, so why not share it with some friends as, as you get ready to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Thanks so much for watching. Please uh, feel free to put any of your suggestions in the comments below, especially if you have any suggestions for Irish videos any phrases you want to learn in Irish, any topics you want to learn about, how anything. to talk about, anything. We'd love any suggestions. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.